Hey, y'all, Choice here. Thank you so very much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. I think today uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about, you know, we have close friends, besties. We have our families. And even for some of us, our children. You know, but anyway, as we move along this journey, there will be those of us who manage to open one eye, one eye, maybe it's this eye, <laughs> or maybe it's just one eye we open and we get to see what's going on. You know, more is revealed to us when we fin finally become conscious of the madness or conscious and getting to know a little bit more about ourselves and accepting ourselves. But as this is happening now, as this is happening, the people around you, and I'm talking about the people who love you the most, who knows the mask, the, the role that you, the role you play. They, they know the mask that is covering the truth. And as you begin to reveal more of your true self as a result of you becoming more aware and more conscious of your true being, those that are, gen are really genuinely concerned will become concerned. <laughs> You'll have mixed, mixed situations going on. But in most cases, people feel you're a little aloof, or you are becoming undone, disconnected from life. The list goes on, you know. And then you have those that may be not as close, but close enough that wants to say, uh, well, this is what happens. Let me go here. When we become more aware, aware of ourselves, there is confusion, of course. There's confusion. When you begin to see more and more what's happening around and you can recognize the, the world as a stage, a performance that's, that's a performance that is unfolding before your very eyes, when you can begin to see life this way, you're, not, you're no longer caught up in the illusion. You're no longer delusional. You are very much become aware of what's happened, of what's, you see things more clearly. And as you begin to see things more clearly, the people closest to you will not recognize you as you as much. Some of them, you know, may think that you've got up on some high horse. Some may speak like, who does she or he think he is sitting up there on that high horse? And you can say, hey, you want to ride? And they may say, I'm not getting up there on that thing. For the, those that don't ride horses. I'm not getting up there on that day. You got to be kidding. Maybe it's a pony. They're still not going to join you on that thing because they don't understand it. They don't understand it. So the talk will be like, uh, the, the talk would be, oh, he, she, riding around on that high horse. Who do they think they are? Or something's wrong with them. Something went left or right or round somewhere. And you can offer, offer them a ride. 
to help them to see more of what you are seeing but from their own perspective. And if they say no, don't keep trying to look down at them trying to help make them get up on that horse. Because they'll, they'll, you know, you'll fall your behind right off that horse. <laughs> trying to help somebody up, kicking and screaming. Trying to help somebody up, kicking and screaming that does not want to get up on that horse. That's like going out there into the ocean, trying to save someone who can't swim. And you don't have on a life preserver. You're lucky if, you, if any one of you come out. I talked this, I said all of that to say this. You're going to run across people as you become more aware of yourself, more enlightened. You're already enlightened, but more conscious of your enlightenment, let's say that. Uh, you will, things will, you'll hear things more clearly. You'll see more clearly. Things become more vivid, you know. Um, a a lot will be a lot will be revealed. A lot will be revealed that was in front of you all along, but you could not see it. That's just a quick note as you awaken and begin to see things more clearly. Peace, choice here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.